हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अवर पैकेट रेसर सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओ एस पी एफ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम बेसिक अबाउट ओ एस पी एफ देन वी आर गोइंग टू मूव टू लैब सो लेट स्टार्ट सो ओ एस पी एफ स्टैंड फॉर ओपन शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ फर्स्ट ओ एस पी एफ इज ए रोटिंग प्रोटोकॉल एंड इट इज़ ए स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल स्टैंडर्ड मीन्स इट विल वर्क इन डिफरेंट वेंडर routers not only cisco it will work in juniper hawaii or any other router that's mean open oh that's mean standard protocol it design as a interior gateway protocol means it will use in inside the autonomous system so it is design as a interior gateway protocol as we already learn about the interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol so ospf used as a interior gateway protocol and it is a link straight protocol so this work on the link straight whereas rip will be the distance vector protocol whereas ospf is a link straight protocol it use a link straight routing algorithm and the administrative distance for uh, ospf is 110 and it is a classless routing protocol means it will support the subnetting and uh, ospf support authentication these are the basic these are the basic points of ospf so now let's move to next slide and here ospf uh, send hello packets in the ospf protocol we use hello concept like uh, ospf will send hello packets for every 10 second for every 10 second router will send hello to other router and router send updated uh, router only send updated network information whereas in the rip router will send all the routing table but here in the ospf router will not send all the routing table only whatever is updated information that information is going to send in to the other router in ospf and uh, router updates are sent with multicast multicast address that is 2 224.0.0.5 it use the cos as a basic routing matrix that is matrix is cos and it supports the support the cidr addressing model and let's see the configuration of ospf how what are the commands we will write if we want to configure the ospf let's see example i have this router router 1 and router 2 and i have the two router is having this 200.1.1.1 and 200.1.1.2 so what is the comments we will write is router ospf1 we will follow like this then network and network id we will write and wildcast mask and area 0 we have area concept in the ospf later in uh, coming videos we will discuss that one now i am just giving the basic theory and the basic practical of ospf so we are considering here only area 0 not going for area 1 or area 2 now we will discuss only area 0 so our the configuration uh, steps is first we need to write router ospf1 then network and network id and wildcast mask and area 0 same thing for this one and this one if we have more port again example if we have here port here port we will again add here network and id and wildcast mask like this we will do and see here is the example for the configuration here what we are doing means here i am writing for the router 1 router ospf1 and in the then i am assigning network and network id what is the network id for this one 200.1.1.0 this is the if we put zero here this will be network id so i wrote network id and this is a wildcast mask and then area 0 i done this is for this one and same thing i will do for the other port so here also network 192.168.1.0 so this is a network id and this is a wildcast mask and this is a area 0 so these are the example for the uh, ospf configuration to check the ospf detail we are going to use the comments as given below here we are going to use show ip neighbor so show ip ospf neighbor and show ip protocol show ip ospf database this three command we are going to use to check ospf detail so this is a basic theory finish now let's start our lab 
I will open the packet tracer. We will do the lab in packet tracer. Here in the packet tracer, I already designed the network. So I will show you. Here we have the one switch. This is a one switch, and here we have two PC. I already assigned the IP address, and here a different network. I have one PC and one server, one switch, and in between them we are using router one and router two. And here router interface, I already put the IP. This interface is having this IP 192.168.1.1, and here is 200.1.1, and here also I have 200.1.1.2. So these are the IP address I uh, already have uh, designed for this OSPF. So now we will do the configuration. So let me open the Notepad to perform this. to perform this uh, configuration so see this is the configuration i already write the interface for the router 1 i given the config t host name r1 and interface f0 by 0 this is 0 by 0 and this is ip address and subnet mask no shit and here also 200 1.1.1 and 255 255 255.0 so this i already write the configuration and for the router 2 also i assign this interface so now we need to do the configuration for the ospf so let me write here ospf configuration what we will do for ospf configuration we will write uh, root ospf 1 so let me write root ospf 1 and then we will go for the network whatever network we have network we will write the network id so i have one is 192.168.1.0 then i will write the wildcast mask 0.0.0.255 this is a wild uh, 255 255 then i will write the area 0 same thing we will do for the second network so i will copy this one and i will paste here let me paste here and this one will change to the this one so i will change this 200 and this is a wildcard mask and this is a area 0 so this is done for the router 1 i will copy this same configuration then i will paste this configuration same configuration in the router 2 configuration here let me come and we will change here what we have here this is a 192.168 2.1 so i will change this to 2.1 and then uh, other one is 200.1.1.0 so this will remain same so this is a configuration we done already see here i will show you the configuration uh let's see again the steps what i perform here so first we we give the host name for the router 1 then we assign the ip address to the this interface same thing we done assign the ip address to f0 by 1 interface then we configure the ospf and then same thing we do for the router 2 so before uh, uh, let me copy and paste this configuration in router 1 so this is a router 1 so i will go this is a router 1 i open this one let me make little bigger this i open this one so let me go to the uh, i will go to the enable mode then i will paste the configuration here i will paste the configuration here see config t this is router name and this all all our configurations are okay no issue then i will save the configuration so this is done for router router 1 and now i will go for router 2 so for router 2 i will copy this configuration for router 2 let me copy this and then i will open the router 2 here then i will go in the cli of the router 2 and then i am going to paste in this one so let me go to the enable mode and then i will paste the configuration inside this so see here config t and host name and this assigning and this is the ospf whatever ospf we done so all are okay no issue then i will save this configuration let me save this configuration the this is already save so now what we can do we can check this pc can ping this pc or not our first aim 
uh, of the lab so let me ping i will ping here ping what we need to ping we need to ping this 192.168.2.2 from this pc so 192.168 192.168 dot one sixty eight dot two dot two so let's see ping is coming or not for from this network to that network let's see see request timeout for a first one and remaining is replies coming so now with this lab we can say this pc is communicating with this pc this are all or the different network but in the different network we are can communicate no issue by using ospf protocol now we will check the ospf detail as in our last slide we shown that we will check this one and this one and this one so let's uh, now we will check this all detail in our ospf so let let me open this router one to check that one so this is a router one i am going to type here let me open that one here show ip uh oh show ip protocol first we will check protocol see here it is running ospf1 running ospf1 and it give that one these two uh, gateway are connected and ad value is 110 for both and uh, this two network is learned from the ospf so now we will see other detail show ip root we will see all root so see we have this route from ospf o is ospf so we have a router learn this route with this ip see so now we will see other command show ip ospf database show ip ospf database see here we can see the database of the ospf here this is the router link state this is a table for in the database this is also database so now we will see another command show ip ospf neighbor show ip ospf neighbor see here it is showing the neighbor and neighbor is having the ip to 100.1.1.2 this is a neighbor and bdr uh, in next video we are going to learn about dr bdr there is election between dr bdr and uh, there is a small description about that one but now we are not discussing that one in our other video we are going to discuss a theory there we will learn what is dr and bdr this command we see already uh, database table and the ospf neighbor this is ospf neighbor 200.1.1.2 so in the command here and this is the neighbor 200.1.1.2 so so this is a basic theory as well as basic lab for ospf very soon we will have the eigrp then others then later we will have the detail series this is a just introduction and the basic series about how we can do in packet tracer like that only with simple example with simple practical later we will have more detail and more uh, theory okay see you bye